Walking by with Jeff Nelson. Thanks, Bob. I'm with Jeff Nelson. The Yankees kind of felt it all year that all roads would go through Houston to get to the World Series. And, Jeff, I ask you, what do you think the mentality is in that clubhouse right now heading into game one? Well, it's a heavyweight fight. This is Tyson and Holyfield right now. And uh, if the Yankees don't come into this series, you know, there's only four players back from 2017. Remembering that series, remembering 2019 when they got knocked out in the ALCS, knowing that at other side, and how much they hate you and how much they want to beat you, you got to have that same feeling. You got to hate this team across. You want to go to dinner after the game, go to dinner with them. But during the field, in between the lines, you got to hate this team. You got to want to beat them and show them who's the best in the American League. I definitely sensed in that clubhouse after the game last night when guys were asked about the Astros, they answered the questions with a little bit of an edge. They want this series so badly. Now, they're going to look to Jamison Tyone to get the ball in game one. This will be his first postseason start. What can we expect from him, Jeff? Well, I like it because, you know, there was going to be a lot of pressure on him pitching that fifth game in the division series now he's starting out now the game one is really important as well but maybe he gets a little bit of a breathing room and maybe relax just a little bit because it's you still have you know hopefully you, you however many games it's going to take the Yankees to win you still have plenty of time so I think he relaxes a little bit and he just has to stay away from that big inning and not overthink that big inning he'll cruise for four and all of a sudden that fifth inning he'll start making some mistakes and overthink the process and the next thing you know he gives up three or four runs if he can stay away from that I think he goes deep in the game I think he's a huge plus I think every starter for the Yankees have to give them a little bit more length because of the way the series or way the uh, ALCS is planned out. The way the schedule goes. I spoke to Jamison Tyone yesterday and he talked about attacking, not thinking too much on the mound. And he also said how meaningful it is for him to get the ball in game one, considering he grew up not too far away from here. Now, on the other side, it's going to be Justin Verlander, one of the best pitchers in the league, has been for a long time. But he's coming off one that he'd probably like to forget. Right. Forney's gave him six runs against Seattle. That's not like him. He's probably the American League Cy Young Award winner as well. He's done very well against the Yankees. He's got good numbers during the season and also the postseason. This is a guy that Dusty Baker wants to start game one. He had some mechanical issues. He said he went through that, picked out some things that he was doing wrong against Seattle, fix it. We'll see what happens. He's a really good pitcher and a good veteran guy that's able to handle game one pressure. When you look at the lineup, Aaron Boone made some tweaks for game one of the ALCS. You're going to see IKF back in there at shortstop. Do you like it? You know, I think, okay, because it's a seven-game series, you want to try to give him some gain, some confidence. Now, uh, you know, during the season, I mean, during the postseason, you kind of check your feelings at the door. But as long as he doesn't make this game any bigger than what it was, we saw during the division series how timid he was. You know, he made a lot of mistakes in the field. I think that carried over in the batter's box. So hopefully he comes out in game one and relaxes a little bit because he's a big key member. If not, they're going to wind up going with Peraza, who they just added. All about managing his nerves for Isaiah Kiner Falefa. You're also going to see John Carlos Stanton in the outfield for the first time in a long time. And Jeff, putting him out there just allows Aaron Boone so much more versatility with the rest of this lineup. It does, and I like it here in Houston because you have a short left field with the Crawford boxers and not a whole lot of ground to cover, so you're able to put him out there. It's going to put a lot of pressure on Bader, who's a center fielder, because he's going to have to have cover a lot of ground, especially in left center. And then also that play that we saw during the division series, that little shallow, some mystery <laughs> fly ball that we had a lot of problems with, or they had a lot of problems with, and also put Hicks out of the rest of the postseason, the infielders are going to have to go out and try to catch that ball because I don't think Stanton's going to get to that little shallow fly ball down left field. John Carlos Stanton has always said he enjoys playing the outfield. He feels like he's more engaged in the game, not concentrating so heavily on every at bat actually allows him to relax a little bit in that batter's box. Obviously had some big swings in the Diaz. Now with Stanton in the outfield, that means you're going to see Matt Carpenter in the lineup for the first time. He's DHing just two at bats in that division series. Series. How do you think he can contribute in this? Well, I don't know if you really know what you're going to get from him because yeah. you just mentioned the two at-bats. He's had such a long layoff. And hitters are all about rhythm, all about getting a lot of at-bats and trying to, you know, continue that, that hot streak. Uh, he was very good for the Yankees, obviously, when he came up. And if he can give him anything like that, maybe get him in the lineup. If he can get some consistent at-bats, I think he'd be huge because you need another left-handed power hitter in this lineup for the Yankees. And he adds that if he can start getting into a rhythm. He is a presence in that Yankees clubhouse as well, and you're going to hear from Matt Carpenter later in the show. Now, they also made some tweaks to their roster. They added Frankie Montas. He'll be coming out of the bullpen should Aaron Boone need him. He's a guy that, obviously, we've only seen as a starter as a Yankee, but Aaron 
Aaron Boone did say when he threw his lives down in Tampa, it is the best that he has seen him since becoming a Yankee. Yeah, you know, for me, I, I sometimes don't get it a little bit by putting a starter in the bullpen. You already have Herman. We saw what Tyone did during the division series coming in the extra innings. You, they have to go through a whole different routine as a reliever. And now you're coming into a postseason against the Astros. There's going to be a lot of pressure. I can understand, okay, if you need to eat up some innings and he might be able to go out there and throw up some zeros for three or four innings because you're going to have a short leash still with that with the starters here during this seven game series and plus the way the schedule pans out you have one day off that's Friday and then you got five in a row so if he can be an impact I like it but in the same time you got a starter that's going into the bullpen I think I'd much rather have a reliever other notes on that roster you have Greg Weiser now in the bullpen as well Aaron Boone spoke a little bit about Ron Marinaccio just didn't feel as though he or DJ LeMahieu were a hundred percent so neither, neither of those guys were included on the CS roster also Oswald Peraz is on the roster as well. Aaron Boone mentioned him as an option at shortstop. We talked a little bit about IKF. He said he will evaluate that position on a game-by-game -game basis, so we will see what tomorrow brings. For now, that's going to do it for Jeff Nelson and myself. Bob, we'll send it back to you in the studio.